morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, today we're going to carry on with uh, altering some of our postcards. I had these um, stamped out the other day from the previous project and I thought it'd be fun to carry on and we this time we're going to collage the back of it and then that way within the journal this is going to be kept for the uh, writing portion of it. So I want to share today a recent purchase I made from Junie Desiree. You guys know her as Willowbound Journals. Um, she is here on YouTube, and this is her Etsy shop. Let me just put that up there a little bit closer. So if you if you like what you see, you can purchase this kit that I'm going to use from her shop. Um, this is not a design team project for me, but. Um, Junie's just such a sweet person, and I, when I spotted these papers she's done, I fell in love with them. Look at those. She's got the lace. She's done a really, really nice job with these papers. Um, but these, I think she had done these as covers, if I'm not mistaken. But she can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but look at these. Of course, I fell in love with the purples. Um, they're just beautifully done. So just very quickly look at the greens. So I thought it would be really fun to do um, one, I don't know, this is kind of a nice one. I like the blue from that and it's small enough. I'll use those and then I'll get one of the um, beautiful. That's so pretty. And then I want to do one of these purple ones. I think I like this one. So that's what I'm going to do today to use on these um, postcards. So bear with me, guys, because I've, I've tried to gather up everything. Um, but no doubt I will have forgotten something. So. so yeah, I just thought we'd play around a bit. I know the first thing I want to do is stamp... And this is a uh, Prima background stamp that I'm going to be using. Um, this is Early Espresso from Stampin' Up. I just like that color. I'll get some scrap here to stamp off on. Because I just re-inked the stamp and it's coming on so heavy. And I don't want this to be too dark. So yeah, I just ended up um, finding my, it's crazy, I brought my heat, um, you know, you got the, the Tim Holtz, but you can get these oven silicon mats, and I had forgot I had it the other day. It, it just occurred to me, oh, I've got that thing, let me get it out, because <laughs> I like working on this, it's easy to clean. I don't know, I really wish I had never bought that glass um, the tonic one, I haven't found that useful, but um, but this I really think is, a, is, is a much easier to clean up. Alright, so I just wanted a little bit of stamping there on the background. Set those over, and sorry, I'm, I know I'm going to keep reaching across because um, the way my camera's mounted here. So I'm just going to get these the edges torn on this. And I might even add some old book page behind it. Doesn't really need it to be honest. She's got the collaging it's just so pretty on this that you really do not even need to add anything to it, but just to have a little more texture, we'll see. We'll see if we're going to need to. So I hope everybody is well and that you guys had a nice weekend.
yeah, I love that little bit of blue. That's so pretty. Yeah. I really didn't have anything in mind. I just knew I wanted to, um, to do the backs of these a bit. And... And we may, I may pull out some of my postage stamps that I got as well. All right, let me set that to the side. I'm going to get these put on. Where's my purple one? Let me go ahead and get this one torn out because I definitely want to keep that butterfly. I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge off. So as I said, I really, I didn't have anything in mind. I just knew when I ran across these papers, because I'd printed them a couple of weeks ago, um, and I've just not had a chance to, to get around to playing with them. So I ran across them a few days ago and thought, ooh, those are so cool. But I haven't planned this out at all. I'm just going to go with it and see what, what we can do. But I like the collage papers because sometimes um, collaging it yourself can add so much bulk to it. And this is just a nice way to still get all the interest without that bulk. Down. I think <clears throat> there's a couple of things I want to add to this, but we'll play around with it and see what looks the best. But you can see, and I don't want that to be exact there, so I'll put that one over to the side. Yeah, look at that, that ink. It's just, I'm having trouble with that because it's, I must have put too much ink on the pad this time. I should have set that. I had to do it last time, but I thought it would be okay today, but it's smeared again. But that's okay. I can cover that when we uh, add the distress. I just put that over it. Try not to smear it. Okay. Alright, so now on to the fun part, which is adding some interest to it. So the first thing I've done, I've, I've got my butterfly punches, I got those out, and then I went ahead and cut out, this is the Sizzix Tim Holtz Tattered Butterfly um, die. Now, if you're interested in that, you can check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below, and that'll take you to my storefront where I... I've got, you know, those for sale in there. So I went ahead and cut these out, and that one's, there's two sizes, as you can see. That one's too big, clearly, but I think this other one's going to work out really, really nice on there. Just trying to get those little bits out. So we've got that. Um, some other things I cut out were the, these again are in my Amazon affiliate. I can't recall the name of these, but they're like the little crocheted um, die cuts, but that's in my shop front if you're interested as well. You can check that out and it'll give you the name um, of what that die is. So I had a um, tip on a Facebook group this weekend because these I've been finding so frustrating to work with. 
and there were some great tips on there, guys. Um, I had heard of, of this before, and you know how you forget things. So what I ended up doing was sandwiching the um, wax paper and a dryer sheet, and that really has helped um, to make that cut much better. So if you've got these, use both of them. That's how I did. I put the dryer sheet down, the piece of paper, then covered it with wax paper, then put the dye over it, and it, it just worked beautifully. So I've got a couple of things there. Um, and the other thing I want us to do is I'm going to go ahead and emboss a couple of pieces of paper. And sorry, but you will have to see this because I didn't do that ahead of time. So that's with my big shot. Um, I've got a couple of embossing folders here. These are the Anna Griffin. Oh, I love these. I love these so much, but I want to go ahead and get a couple of these run through. Um, and then we can tear up for some texture we can add to. So let me run a couple of those through, and I'll tell you a story about how I came to own these embossing folders. And I just recently, <laughs> I don't, I'm always behind everybody, I just recently found out that you can get the Big Shot as an electric. I had no idea. So I'll have to say, look at how beautiful that's come out. Um, I'm going to do some checking. It's probably not something I would purchase while I'm in the UK because everything here is just crazy money. And if it has the outlet for the UK, when I go back to the US, I wouldn't be able to use it. So I'm going to do some research on it, and depending on how much that is, I might invest in that. Because um, I'm starting to get trouble with this thumb, and um, my husband thinks it's the repetitive, you know, nature of because I'm doing a lot of cutting. I use the big shot a lot. I'll just do one more, guys, and then we'll get on with this. Um, so, ugh, you know, I, I didn't want to have to admit to it, but I think he might be right. Um, and I've just temporarily been putting it in a... Um, Oh, what am I, you know, one of those brace things at night when it really flares up. I, I put that on in the evening and, and rest it with that. But yeah, I couldn't believe that they got the an electric big shot. That's just, uh, that one got past me and I, I did not even know that. So, okay, we've got those done. Let me get this mess out of the way. I wish I had a big enough space that I could just move from one station to the another next with the camera and you, and you guys could just see everything coming together, but I don't have that kind of space, as you know. Um, so, okay, I've just got those sitting there. We may not even use them, but they're done. Um, so, the Anna Griffin uh, embossing folders. I spotted those years and years ago, and I'm just going to tell a story while I'm carrying on, and I'll try to point out anything that's not self-explanatory. Um, I spotted those years ago, and somebody um, had said what they were. It was on a tutorial somebody was doing. And so, I immediately... As you know, we all do it. I jumped on to see if I could find them, and of course, they were, you know, first of all, I could hardly f find where to get them. I finally realized 
and found the um, the link, and they were sold on HSN. Well, if you're not from the United States, HSN is a home shopping network. So I was like, oh, okay. And I was living in the UK, so I thought, oh, boy, okay, I'll have to get these sent to family and pick it up when I go back, right? So I go on there. And there's a, it's just like limited stock or something. So I put it in the basket, go through the checkout, and I think I've got it. And then it comes back and says, sorry, um, out of stock. So I was like, oh, no, I've got to have these dies. And, you know, you could do like a notification oh, to let me know when they're back in stock. So... I thought, well, okay, I'll probably never get them, because sometimes HSN just, once they're out of stuff, that might just be it. So I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. I'll go ahead and put it on there, because I couldn't find them anywhere else. I think it might have been an exclusive thing, like a bundle with um, HSN. So I thought, well, okay, I'll just, um, see, I like that thing, and I think him coming off of there is going to be pretty. Um, I thought, well, okay. I'll just go ahead and, and give it a try. I've got nothing to lose. So, this is uh, Irish linen thread. You guys know I like to work with that. So, I put my name on the waiting list. And, of course, I forget about it. You know, this is like... I don't know, weeks go by, and we were going to, um, it was our honeymoon, and Paul was taking me to Mallorca, Spain, and so, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, honestly, we were at the airport when I get an email coming through that it's back in stock and I am at the you know where you wait in the airport for the flight what am I thinking well you know um, I wasn't at the boarding point yet but we're there waiting to catch this flight which is only like I don't know two or three hour flight over to um, to Mallorca this Email comes through, because you're bored, you're sitting there thinking, oh, what can I do? So you're scrolling your your phone. And this comes through, and I read it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they've come back in stock. And of course, again, limited amount, because you know they're, they're going to be discontinuing them at some point. So I'm like, okay, how am I going to do this? I've got to get on the ball, i got to get this set of embossing folders before they discontinue this. So we're sitting there and then it is time for the plane to board. They're starting, you know, they start calling for people to start boarding. Well, it's a small plane going to New York, so there's not that many people. I mean, there's probably like 120 or 50. Not like the big jets. So, um, Sorry, I'm struggling to focus on my story and craft. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm online. Because you know the airport um, internet is not great. I'm having hiccups. I'm getting, you know, any possible thing that could go wrong was going wrong. All you need to verify that this is you. And I'm freaking out. And Paul's like, what's, what, what's the big deal? We need to get on this flight. I'm like, you don't understand. I've got to have these embossing folders. I have been waiting for months now to get them. I have to have this. And in the end, I'm in Birmingham Airport. I'm on the phone to HSN in the United States. Like, I don't know why. I can't get this to go through. Um, I've tried to do it online. I've got, a, a, like, a lockout on my account. I want to get this order through, and lo and behold, finally, 
I got that order through, and oh man, what a relief, and it was just in time, because I was like, okay, we've got to get on this plane, but I was thinking, uh-uh, if I have to miss this flight, I'm getting those embossing folders, because <laughs> you know how it is, sometimes you just get your, your mind set on something, and it's and that's that was the frame of mind I was in, I was like, I have to have these, I went this far, I have got to have these these folders now <laughs> but yeah I couldn't believe it of all the times because if, if I had been at home the chances are I could have done it all online no problem but for some reason and I don't know if it was because I was trying to do it from my phone and they detected I was outside of the country I don't know but it was just ridiculous and of course yeah Paul it's, he just he doesn't get it he's just like it's a craft supply really they don't understand, do they? You just become obsessed, and it's like the chase, the chase of getting that product. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've added the linen thread behind the butterfly, and then I just add a little bit of that just to give it a little more texture because it it just feels nice when you're and then you've got the back you can do the journaling on and I, I really you I could add something down there but I don't know I'm wondering if I were to color that if I tell you what I'm gonna do let me just color that purple This is going to be very, very dark, but I think that might be what it needs. And that's just some of the ink, just to kind of tone that down a little bit, make it look a, a little bit more vintage. And this part of the butterfly does come in that dye. Yeah, like that. I think that's what it needed. You know... Actually, uh, this might be a big old boo-boo, but I'm actually going to take and just do a few little squiggles. Not a lot, just, just a little bit here and there. Okay, so you can see. Yeah, I like how that came out. All right, let's set that one over. Let me see how we are. Oh, Lordy, we're almost out of time. All right, let me stop the camera and restart, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, I was thinking about this, and I, th I think it needs a little bit, just a bit more. So I've grabbed... Cut a load of little sayings and, and um, labels. So I'm just thinking Yeah, I, th I think it, it needs I don't know, is that too much? Maybe just the little No, I feel like it needs that. I'm going to go ahead. You're probably screaming at me. Don't do it, but I'm just going to have that there. And then I like the idea of that just right there. 
just to kind of finish it off a bit. And the other thing I spotted, where did it go? Oh dear, I've lost it in my pile. Okay, maybe I'll run across it in a minute here. Ah, this is what I found. That little purple postage stamp. This is Tracy Fox. I think that's going to be pretty there. Just to kind of finish out the back. And I'm not going to put it completely over that. I think I'll just do it there. I think that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Really like that. And and the good thing is, it's it's very flat. All right, so that's one down. Uh, let's see here. Because I found a couple of. Um, these things I've had cut out, and I'm just thinking I'm going to use those in here somehow. I like the idea of that. Okay. So I'm going to just, uh, let me see if I can just put this with glue stick. So just across the center there, I'm going to put that lace. Yeah, okay, I like that. Because this was quite a large one. This one I'm going to go ahead and glue down completely because it's pretty big. And then this is one of Tracy's uh, little definition labels. Just have that up in the corner. So I've joined an ATC swap group, and uh, I thought it would be fun to start making a few ATCs, so stay tuned for that, guys, because that's going to be coming uh, as one of my Create With Me, start working on a few of the, <coughs> excuse me, a few of those. And then you can totally just adapt that to a larger size for a journal card. Okay, so that's how that one's come out. I like those. Those are cute. I love those papers, Junie. Those are beautiful papers. And then we're on to the last one. And this one, this was an Artie Mays butterfly. I really like that because it kind of goes in with that. And again, let me just get a little bit of texture, I think, to go along over there. I 
So yeah, I've been trying to um, get involved in a few other types of groups. I mean, although they're not junk journal related things, you know, with the sewing and things, it, it always can be adapted to suit the junk journals. So that's, that's the kind of uh, thing I'm spending more time on now which is why I haven't been around as much. Um, you know, I've been taking courses. Uh, I always try to take courses whenever I've got a little bit of time. And then, as I said, you know, trying to get involved in a few other um, groups and swaps and things. It just, um, all of it just takes up a lot of time, but I love doing it. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, so here, added the texture there. We got that going on. I'm almost thinking. Oh, I don't know that. I may not even put one of those on there. I've got this little Eiffel Tower one. I wonder if I should put that. That's kind of cute. The stamp and then the butterfly on it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I like that actually. I'm just going to ink up the edges a little. So the other thing you can do, you could run these through the machine. You can stitch around the edge if you want to. I'm not going to do it on this batch, but uh, I'll probably do it on the next bunch that I'm working on. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to do it. It's too much. A hassle to go shut, you know, stop and start. And I know that's very frustrating when you're trying to. So, you know, by now, you just before you finish off, I would stitch it and then add your the rest of your little details. Okay, guys, that is what we've done today. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a quick and easy process. Just take the things that you've already got cut up and in your uh, stash. It's a great way to use those items up because um, I told you I did the fussy cutting a while back <clears throat> and I just... I really don't like doing that in advance now. It doesn't work for me. Maybe if I ever get super organized. I've seen some ladies on, to, on YouTube that have got their binders and they've got all the butterflies in one section. And um, that is amazing. I so wish I, I was that organized, but I'm not yet. Um, so my system is terrible for cussy, uh, cussy fun. <laughs> Fussy cutting in advance, it just does not work for me. So um, I'm trying to use all of that stuff up and just start afresh. And maybe then I'll get some binders and try to be a bit more coordinated in how I store things. But I hope that's been helpful. Um, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to try to start uh, doing, you know, I don't know how many videos I'll do for the ATC. I'll just see how much interest there is because... I don't know, there's not a lot of people doing those now, I don't think, but it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, if people are interested in that or not. Um, but I'll definitely do one or two videos showing it, because it can be adapted, like I said, to a larger size and make a journal card. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you here soon. Bye.